right rule for the n term of the arithmetic sequence. So we're looking for the n term, a rule for the n term of the following arithmetic sequence. So remember, whenever they're asking for a n term, we're looking for what? We're looking for the equation. If we're looking for the equation, one way of doing it is, what do I need to multiply 14 to get to 21? Or what do I need to add? It will be 7. So therefore, it should say 7n, right? What do I need to add to 28 to get to 35? 7, and 7, and 7. If I plug in a 1, it should give me 14. So what else do I need? I need a 7 times 1 is 7. To get to 14, I need another 7. If I plug in a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it should give me a 42. 7 times 5 is 35, plus 7 is 42. So that should be your answer. But I need you guys to go through the process of the equation. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus, if you remember, arithmetic is the one with the plus, n minus 1, and a difference. And I just plug in the information that they provide for me. a sub n is equal to a sub 1, which is the first number, that is 14, plus n minus 1 multiplied by the difference. The difference can be found by subtracting 21 minus 14, which is 7. Or you can just think, you know, what do I need to add to 14 to get to 21, and then get to 28, and to 35 will be 7. From here, we just simplify. 7 times 10 will be 7n. Negative 1 times 10 is 7, negative 7. Combine my like terms. So a sub n is equal to 7n plus 7. And it's exactly what we found before. Remember, I do need you guys to go through the formula on this problems.